Hello, this is Mr. Willis, and now I'm going to show you how to mix together different audio tracks in Audacity. Let's take one more listen to this uh, little piece of audio we've been working with. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. So that's sounding pretty good, but now I want to make it more interesting. And in my little uh, line that I read here, I talk about a city at night. And so it'd be great if I added some sound effects that make it sound like we're in a city at night. And if you're doing this through Google Classroom, I am going to give you a link that's going to have a folder with a whole bunch of different sound effects and music that you can use. I've already found some, so I'm ready to go with my particular project here. So to add new audio tracks to this project, what I'm going to do is go to File, Import. Notice I do not go to Open. Open opens a whole new Audacity project. We don't want to do that. I want to go to File, Import, and Audio. And it's going to give me up a window where I can go look for audio. So I'll go to Computer, 5A, because I'm logged in as a fifth grade student right now. And I've made a folder for myself in 5A here, where I have saved a couple of uh, song and some uh, an effect here. So I'm going to take this Traffic Jan effect and open it. Now, you'll notice it's uh, kind of big there. It's This one's actually in stereo, and it's longer than I need, but that's not a big deal. I can cut off bits of it later. But let's go ahead and see what this whole thing sounds like right now. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. Okay. All right, so that background noise definitely matches what I'm talking about. But did you notice, especially right in this area, when the horn was really starting to blare, you almost couldn't hear me. So something that's a really good idea to do is check the level of any other tracks that you use. And I can do this with this little slider right here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume, we call it the gain in this case, of my traffic jam down just a little bit, and let's see how that sounds. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. Okay, I think that sounds a little bit better. And so you'll notice that every time I add a new track, it's going to be separate down below this one. This way, multiple tracks can play at the same time and I can change the volume. It's similar if you're adding music, so let's go ahead and add some background music for this one as well. Once again, File, Import, Audio, and this time I'll find a song I've got here called Reckless Cowboy. Interesting. Okay, now the song is down there in the, the bottom track, and if I roll up here, you will see there is my original reading back up there at the top, and this is a full song, so it's really long. So similar as we did with the previous effect, let's see how this whole thing sounds right now. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. Okay, now I did that on purpose because that's something to keep in mind. Pretty much any time you add music, at the first add, it's going to be loud, and you will always need to turn it down. So just like I did with the uh, background sound effect here, I'm going to turn this down, but I'm going to turn this down even farther, because it's really important to not let your music really overpower what you're actually trying to read. So we'll go all the way down into the lower 20s here, and let's see how everything sounds now. It started out as a normal summer night. The city was loud and hot. And there you go. Now I have three different sound files all working together to make something that I think is pretty cool. So that's how you mix in different tracks in Audacity.